Okay, so working on a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Latitude with uh, automatic start stop. Been having problems with the automatic start stop for a long time. Um, finally, it quit and it shut off the car. I got a warning that says park safely. Engine's going to stop. Since then, I haven't been able to start the engine. So, start it off. Here's your batteries. Your main one's in the front, your little one's in the back. The one in the front is your main battery. It starts the car and does the normal operations. The one in the back is an auxiliary battery. It's only used when you're stopped at, with the automatic start-stop. It keeps the lights on and the um, temperature right and everything, and that's it. All right, so those... Oh, and on top of the battery on the ground, on the main battery on the ground, is that thing there. It's called an IBS, an intelligent battery sensor. It is linked into your PCM, and it will give you... Um, errors and stuff like that so from there from there oh by the way that battery underneath the ba batteries underneath the passenger seat all right so from there the wires come up i couldn't even plug in a scanner because i had nothing no electricity whatsoever and both batteries or the one battery was fully charged when i measured the big battery it was 12 7 that's fine when I measured the little bit, battery is only three volts. So something was draining that for some reason. So when I followed the wires, I had a wiring diagram. They come up and one of the first places they go is right here. This is your jumper post. Underneath the jumper post, hidden very, very well, are some fuses. These fuses control how that little battery charges. So you come up from the main battery, It's right here and you get 12 volts and it's going to go through all this crap and then it's going to coat does it come out through this and go over to the power control relay um, which determines if we're charging the leave it if we're charging that little battery or not as you can see my fuse is blown now this is usually attached to the wall like that and you can see it because it has that post up and it has this cover over it which actually holds it to the wall it has this cover over it so it kind of looks like that when you look at it it's going to look like that this cover slides right down over top of that and if you look um, at the cover here you see this little clippy here and that little clippy there you stick your screwdriver in there and wiggle them and this whole thing slides right off the top that little clippy there and that little clippy there fit into those holes right there and hold the whole assembly to the side all right so i measured my electricity and coming up i had 12.6 here but i only had four volts here which is just the voltage of that auxiliary battery so i knew, knew there was a problem and i looked at the wiring diagram and there was a fuse Look through all these fuses, not. It's called fuse one on the wiring diamond. Looked through all these fuses, not. Looked underneath here, tested everything, not. Then I came over to here and I found, in a weird YouTube video uh, about something completely different, I found out where this thing was. Well, these are your big fuses. This is where they're gonna blow. If you have a problem with your start stop system, take a look here. All right, that's great. Have a good one, bye. Oh, just to wait to give you an idea where this is at in the engine. It's over in that the front right fender.